Welcome, thank you for joining me here for your weekly love reading. It's for August 26th through September 1st, 2024. My name is Carolyn. A big processing has been continuing on for the two of you. We need to build the Holy Grail legacy in the 5D New Earth, the age of Aquarius. And what's been preventing the two of you from understanding that, seeing that, desiring that has been flushing out, purifying out of the body, out of the mind, the emotions attachments have been clearing a lot has been going on so that you two can see this truth understand your mission here of holy girl union this legacy and what's not that here as well so we'll see how this is continuing for this week uh, we have the three of swords as the overall energy um, your masculine counterpart has been processing through that actually quite a bit the past few weeks. Hopeless is the last card here and then the Nine of Cups. So for your union this week, it's time to really get um, into this Nine of Cups position. So again, I'm seeing blood, blood clearing. So the more detoxing, it could really be felt more in the physical body that this healing is happening here. Um, so the two of you can be in a better, healthier position, happy, emotionally ready to have Holy Grail union together as well. So whatever stagnation, uh, depression, focusing on the past, uh, relationships that didn't work out, the pain or the core wounding, whatever these things have been, it's in the body, stuck it's still in the body here on the skin I'm seeing topical as well it's all got to basically purify out so this could be the end of the past few weeks healing and detoxing mentally and emotionally um, so that the two of you are ready basically here so it's it's past ancestral past life deep things that have been clearing out um, so you're not carrying that with you any longer. So it, it should bring a lot of freedom here as well. Happiness in general in life, not worried, not anxious, um, not scared of having union with your divine counterpart, all of these sorts of things. So for you this week towards the union, we have the hermit card here with boundaries and then the two of cups, really good to see. So the boundaries card says making self-care priority, being direct, tuning into one's feelings and practicing self-awareness. So definitely I feel like you are achieving that this week with the Hermit card and the Two of Cups, that you are setting the boundaries with the energies that aren't serving you any longer here that are in the way of you having your union. I feel like you intuitively understand this now. There's some sort of awakening that's happened in the consciousness, in your wisdom, in the knowledge and understanding here of you setting boundaries with yourself with the past with people with whatever this is for you personally i think you know very well at this point what this has been and you're in charge of it you're in control of it here you can so those things once basically controlled you not any longer you're in charge now which is really good to see you're basically elevated here wiser stronger more confident here so you're ready for union from this perspective especially in the consciousness emotionally we have the seven of pentacles i'm hearing you are winning spirituality and the knight of swords so you are progressing really well here you're looking at it with the spiritual card and the hermit card from a higher perspective so and i'm hearing you're crossing the bridge to the other side so you're definitely seeing here um, the mind, the logical understanding of your union, your emotions, cycles, relationships, these attachments we cleared last week. You understand that now here. The Knight of Swords is coming in your emotional body here to also help you be the director over your emotions and not let the things that don't serve you any longer stand in the way of your union here. So you're, you're definitely growing, maturing, getting wiser, getting more powerful setting saying no and clearing out what needs to go here so you're gonna get you you should be also with the seven of pentacles seeing that this is the you know exactly what to do here i think you you see the results you're seeing what will bring you the union here as well and what's not so very clear action steps are being taken by you this week in the blocks we have the six of swords so you're just in the process of healing clearing this up and leaving it behind 
this three of swords, confusion, frustration, not getting what you want. It's like what we did in last week's extended reading was clear the programs that have you convinced to pursue something that's not your union here as well. And I feel like that's what you're also overcoming because you're get, you're seeing at this point, like, why am I, why am I staying stuck in these situations? Why, why do I keep choosing things that are not meant for me? This kind of concept. So now it's like, you're more healed. You're more ready emotionally, uh, more sovereign over yourself and your life and your union. We also have the six of wands in the blocks. So two sixes here again, or sorry, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles, six of swords, and then pride. Ask, afraid to take action for fear of embarrassment or shame and has difficulties apologizing. So it's, you, the doorway here is open for you to move on, to elevate up out of this here, to get back your energy, Get back on track is what it feels like towards your divine counterpart, towards your holy girl union. Move forward on this legacy here as well. So whatever this pride is, and I think it's scared to take action because of not um, knowing exactly what to do. I think going back and forth, is this right for me? Is that my person? Like confusion and okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest all in with this. And then, no, it's, it's not working. Is this, am I doing the right thing? You're like totally lost and a lot of mind games and manipulation, emotional pain and ending that cycle here. So I, this is where we're going to do the breakthrough. We'll focus this, on this in this week's extended reading as well because it feels like as soon as we get that breakthrough and this alignment for you, everything's going to come back into balance in your life. You're going to be able to move forward in the right direction quite quickly as well and into this nine of cups like really in one week leaving this hopeless confused um pain into um, happiness and direction and this is the right direction for me this is what i want this is who i'm meant to be with this is the relationship i'm meant to have and have that epiphany have that understanding come into you this week so as soon as that breakthrough happens this block that's preventing you moving forward into this understanding and direction for yourself as soon as that clears out, definitely could be something in the mind here that needs to clear and have boundaries with. So it's it feels like also density and darkness. So it could feel like also obligations to stay in a situation like maybe you've been pursuing the same person for five years, 10 years, waiting on them. And it's like, after all this time, after all this energy, all this effort, do I give up and walk away? And so that could be part of the decision with the pride is like, if, if you're having the revelation that, yeah, that's been the wrong thing to be doing and you should switch gears now and go in this new direction, this into the new earth, into the Holy Grail union. Ascend. It's an ascended union. It's not a 3D matrix union. It's not a karmic relationship, right? <clears throat> so... If you can accept that as well and move forward, I think that that might be some of the blocks that need to be cleared here. It, what I keep seeing it is as darkness, density, duality, quite heavy. So whatever, if there's an opportunity to transmute it all to the light this week is what I'm seeing it as. And the final outcome we have for you, your action steps, the Hierophant. So this is where you are getting wiser on this level the isolated card and then the page of wheels here so a new direction a new path a new beginning here more wise more elevated with the higher fin here so it does look like you are getting a new changing possibly changing directions changing um, belief systems changing um, emotional ready to receive emotionally love unconditional love your divine counterpart here some upgrade is happening where you're not going to stay stuck here any longer and it, it's like the opportunity is opening up so you can be happy you just need to choose it um so we'll focus on whatever that is i think that the spell work all these things done to the body and systems externally here that intentionally did this to the feminine did this to the masculine I feel like we've broken a lot of this here the past few weeks and 
possibly with the Aquarius full moon, the Jupiter square Saturn, that was kind of the big breaking point of that system, those spells, those cycles, right? Coming to a collapse. And now it's like we can totally redirect out of that now and into this new timeline. And it's all really there for us because it's God's plan for the new earth, the new family tree. So much we focused on the DNA, the healing, the cellular healing. Um, so much to get the shift happening and moving into this new direction happened last week. So I, I feel like now catching up to the internal changes that have happened and making the free will external choices with yourself to move with the, the internal shift and... Um, systems breaking so for your counterpart this week they have the four of swords in their thoughts suppression and the ace of wands again they had the ace of wands last week so they they are definitely get, continuing getting their power back having this consciousness awakening the suppression says emotionally numb not allowing oneself to think or feel and bottling up emotions so this is what's detoxing out of them this week i think this life force energy that's happening that's rising through them their kundalini awakening the spirits in them waking them up out of the slumber out of the suppression out of the illusions this week um so this is going to continue the you're both having a, a, a wake up an awakening this week so this for them it might happen more when they're sleeping that this whole shift in consciousness is happening um to get to the truth they had a lot of endings on this level this last week. So this is pr processing through all of that and purifying it out basically and bringing in again with the Ace of Wands, more of this new beginning, more of their confidence, more of their power, more of them being a stable divine masculine Christ and releasing the programs that were keeping them stuck in the distorted masculine matrix system here. So they're now becoming more of the evolved masculine and emotionally, we have the ego card. So that's what I feel like is all connected to fear, anxiety, limiting beliefs, and toxic thinking patterns. I just feel like this is that distorted masculine, B system, matrix, men, men, masculine in general, the way the system's been running, the way that the masculine's raised to act and behave, that they're overriding this week. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So it, two three of swords for them is not staying stuck in the fear the worries the anxieties any longer and the ego just wants to keep them stuck in that so they have they're, they are processing through all of these lower vibrational feelings experiences traumas and new opportunities are being offered to them to the, this week they had the world card last week i believe um so and they're still processing through endings and new beginnings here. And it might go to the full moon. It's the eclipse, the super Pisces super moon eclipse on September 17th. Um, we have the Virgo new moon next week at the end of this week. Really, we'll start feeling that energy here. So it might be a lunar cycle that this detoxing of entity attachments and control through this three of swords that have been programming their their mind which includes systems because it's a collective spell that they're breaking they're going to continue breaking free of that so it's been suppression suppressing them emotionally so they're not in their truth right it's been blocking them from feeling safe to open up to love with you as well. Just to have love. Wow. In the blocks, we have for them the devil card. So we'll definitely clear all this out in this week's extended reading. The five of pentacles and soulmate. It's like a battlefield. It's so palatable. Um, the ego, the devil, the suppression versus the soulmate, the new beginning, the getting your power back, getting your life force energy back. So a lot of shifting here, just like the two, you two are. You're both really processing through um, the, the lies and the, it's like dark versus light. It's just one or the other, you know, are we going to stay in the old systems? Or are we going to have union? I feel like it's just the choice is right here and union's the answer here. And everything that's in this, in the way of that is really coming up to heal. I'm seeing like a third party karmic person here with the ego. So it does 
feels like a lot of energies have gotten into their mind and gotten in the way and programmed them here, kept them stuck away from union with you, isolated, alone, unhappy, and because of the devil, the devil ultimately in their card reading here did, is the block to soulmate union. So we'll clear all of this up, whether it's the ego mind, the reptilian brain, external systems that are keeping the two of you trapped. I'm just being shown the devil card where they have the man and the woman in chains, right? Like that's simply what it's coming down to that we're setting your counterpart free from the devil this week and whatever veils are in the mind <clears throat> that's keeping them stuck in the belief system that the devil's ingrained into them. And so the action steps is the wheel card with the nine of cups again, great, and neglect wounds. So struggles to let things go, low self-worth, gets angry easily, struggles to say no, and repressed emotions. And this is a father and son energy here. So it does feel like ancestral, the beast system, the masculine, the, the, the way the masculine was raised from childhood, these repeated generations uh, of emotional trauma and abuse. So a lot of this could have definitely been put into them from childhood getting yelled at, getting physically punished, whatever this is, this ego, the devil, anytime they they went through these trauma experiences as a child and being talked down to and uh, uh, mentally abused, emotionally abused, physically abused, it would just create a portal where this, this entity enters into the body and then they start taking on that belief that was projected into them here. So this is what's having to come up and out of them. So they're going to move through that this week here. Nine of Cups, get, get this happiness, independent and happy from the pain that they've taken on since childhood. The wounding is definitely could be ancestral. Okay, and then... The final outcome for your union this week is the Page of Cups. So this is coming through. You have the Page of Cups? Yeah. Oh, no, you had the Page of Wheels. So Page of Cups and Karmic Family, 100% in the World card. So we're getting to the bottom here of ancestral cycles, Karmic Family, a relationship with someone in the immediate family who's been brought back from previous lifetimes to work things out peacefully. So getting to an end, it looks like three generations that are being processed, especially if you or them, or you both have children already. The children are getting this healing. You two are getting this healing. Your parents are getting this healing. So this is clearing it all out um, for this new beginning here. Um, there's like a grandfather energy in this card. It could go back to grandparents. Um, it certainly is the family tree that this cycle needs to come to an end on here. And so that you two can both move away and be happy, be independent and happy, basically here. For you, I feel like this karmic family is soul-based soul relationships with um, putting an end to cycles of uh, marriage relationships, some, something here on the romantic level where their counterpart feels like something more with family, immediate family members that this is um, detoxing out for the two of you. So we're going to get to the bottom and put an end to this karma and clear the, the programs out of the two of you in this week's extended reading to support your ascension. We're going to work with these ascension union cards this week to help elevate you two up out of this 3D matrix system, timeline, Gregorian calendar, family tree, and start the 5D New Earth Age of Aquarius legacy of your union together and this new Regenesis 2.0 bloodline as well. So if you'd like to join us, the link is down below. It's on Vimeo. It's very inexpensive. You can re-listen as often as you feel guided as well and get all of the codes and clearings and activations that are available this week. We use the Shamanic God Code Healing and get more cards and go deeper into this reading as well. It all comes directly from the Most High God. I hope to see you there. Thank you for joining me here. God bless you and have a very blessed week. Take care.